Hello guys, another video from my car as every Friday on this channel and today I want to talk about mind shift that should happen in your mind if you want to get more opportunities and more jobs in the future with Laravel but not necessarily. I've been browsing, I'm constantly browsing new jobs for Laravel and Python now these days for ideas for content mostly. I'm not actually looking for jobs but I see the trends and I noticed one trend which I already knew from before but it becomes kind of stronger and stronger. So in full-time jobs, if you read full-time job descriptions in Laravel, it seems like everyone is expected to have like five or six the same lines in their CV. So everyone is expected to be full stack, everyone needs to create APIs, everyone needs to be good with testing, and a few more kind of table stakes. But then the advantage for developers who would apply is kind of the secondary list of what is actually required for that specific company, for that specific project. And that is more and more often related to external APIs and external tools. So you need to be good with Laravel and PHP and Vue.js, for example, or Livewire or something like that. So you need to be full stack. But quite a lot of things in development are outsourced to external tools or APIs or AI these days. So my point is that you need to not only learn Laravel, but also experiment with external tools. APIs popular in your market, tools like Laravel Spark, Laravel Cashier for payments, for example, or Paddle or Stripe or something like that. This is kind of outside of coding with Laravel. From Laravel, you would call those features from those libraries, from those packages but companies are increasingly looking for specifically people having experience with this or that external tool or library. And if we look at freelance job boards like Upwork, for example, it's even more about some external tools or APIs because, well, the jobs there are more like one-time projects, shorter projects. So for that specific project, they specifically require you to be experienced with, for example, OpenAI API or Filament, for example. There are different examples. But basically, it's not that much about Laravel anymore. It's more about what you can do externally with Laravel. And in general, I see that coding is kind of transforming these days. I've tweeted about it recently that the actual final product released on the market is usually a framework on top of the framework, on top of language. And then inside you call some external API, which actually does a lot of the job. So a job of a developer of a coder is more like a Lego master who would glue things together and make it all work together in a professional way. And this trend is actually even stronger in Python projects. I'm diving deeper and deeper into Python on my second channel, Python ML Daily. And while browsing Upwork jobs for inspiration for topics, I see quite a lot of small jobs for $100, for a few hundred dollars, just using some kind of library and making it work with the data of the customer. So use OpenAI and make a chatbot with PDF, for example. Use OCR library and scan the invoices, for example. So the developer is expected to have experience with at least one of those libraries or maybe even a few of them, for example, for OCR. There are at least a few libraries, so you would be expected to choose which is the better one. And another kind of takeaway from that is maybe it's worth to switch from looking for full-time jobs into diving into gig economy where your goal is shorter project for smaller amount of money with specifically your skill set. Because I think in the future, in quite distant future, but still it will slowly grow towards that restructuring of a job of a developer. So it will be more about shorter projects using external tools, external APIs, AI, large language models, and then tying it all together. So my overall advice here is if you have downtime and you think what to learn, learn external libraries, APIs, and tools that are mentioned in job descriptions in your market. That said, I don't think that AI would take the developer's job. It would be just transformed into using some AI as one of the external tools. What do you think about this idea? Or what APIs or tools would you suggest to learn to other developers? Shoot in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.